Hey everybody, one more video today about 10.4, the new update for Logic. I'm looking at Chromoverb. This was something that piqued my interest. It's maybe not the thing I'm looking forward to testing out the most, which may be the EQs and the other effects, but it definitely is interesting that they would throw in a new reverb, given the history of always having like six more reverbs than every other digital audio workstation. So now, if you look at this, we have, let's open this up, Chromaverb, Enverb, Silververb, Space Designer. And then that may be all we have right now, but legacy wise, I don't know if we might still be able to install some of the other ones. I haven't looked at that right this second. But these are the four that we have. The other thing that was new is the design of Space Designer has matched what we have now with Chromaverb. And that's actually really useful because it means that when we open either of these up, we're going to be going to the same places for adjusting and tweaking the reverbs. So what we have with Chromaverb are two different main windows, the main and then the details. All of the settings I would say are fairly standard, so we're not going to spend too much time talking about size and decay and distance, dry, wet. The main premise for this is the algorithm chooser where we have 14 different tonal colors and designs to go with them and we can choose what we want adjust it down here we have a damping EQ to change the actual decay sound and then an overall EQ to alter the output so we really can sculpt what we have lots of options for that but when I first attached the sub push play I wasn't expecting this I hadn't read very much about it but the display definitely surprised me a little Notice it's not changing the entire sound. It's not changing the entire output of this. Even though the reverb is set to 100% wet, this really is changing the decay, not things like the earlier flexions and other pieces of it. We can turn off that display if we really want to, if we're not using it, but uh, it definitely is an interesting interface which shows reverb in kind of a different way than perhaps you've been used to seeing it. So I think it sounds interesting. I think so far I'm really happy with how the patches sound. I think what I need to, to do now is actually test this out on a bunch of different things and see if it's actually something I'll adopt into my normal workflow and not just kind of a gimmicky reverb. So anyway, just to look at this, I hope you're having a great day and hope you're enjoying Logic 10.4.